Welcome to kendoguide.com. Thank you for watching. In this video, I would like to answer one of those questions from our subscribers. Now, Nicholas Usui dash crook 8325. Thank you for this question. And he asked about the correct approach to Jigeko with different partners. That is a very interesting topic, isn't it? Now, sensei, senpai, similar grades and lower grace. It's a great question, something I can share my knowledge with. So let's dive right into it. Part one, understanding the meaning of Jigeko. Okay, so firstly, let me explain what really Jigeko means. Usually this term is translated as free sparring, but that can lead to misconception to new kendo practitioners. So I'd like to go over the meaning of jigeko. Let me introduce the kanji for jigeko. This is G, and this is K, and this is ko, and this is jigeko. Okay? Now G means ground or foundation. What I was told when I was a kid from my sensei, it means it is keiko to make your foundation. And I also googled it and one of my favorite websites ichinikai.com says the same thing as well. And it also says that in the old days, since army used to train outside, the meaning of jigeko was from like keiko on the ground, since the kanji ji also means the ground. And also the Ichinikai website says that the jigeko used to include kirikaishi, kakarigeko, and so forth. So the word jigeko is used to mean the training to create your foundation of your kendo. So that's how I learned the meaning of Jigeko. Now with a basic understanding of Jigeko, let's move on to the traditional perspectives on it. Okay, let's talk about traditional Jigeko. Now when I learned the meaning of Jigeko, that was 40 years ago, so I don't know if I can say it as a traditional, but I would like to share what I know. Now traditionally, 40 years ago or so, when you go against sensei, we don't try techniques, especially when you're in Q grade. What you have to do is go forward, strike, and be brave. Do not worry about getting hit. Sensei will hit you anyway, whatever you do. If you wait to try counterattacks, they will get you. If you go forward, they will get you. So whatever you do, they will get you. So don't worry about getting hit. Don't worry about executing any techniques. What you have to do is go forward and strike them. And probably that turns into kakari geko. But that's what it is. So that is what we did when I was a kid. And if you do jigeko with lower grade holders, like your kohai, what you do is you practice techniques. That is very important time for you to practice actual techniques, okay? Because they are lower grade holders, they are much easier to try new techniques on. So that's the time for you to try techniques and put them into practice so you know how it works. Now, when you do Jigeko with about the same rank, you go for it. Make sure you go forward as well because if you don't go forward, you don't learn your distance, you don't learn timing, and if you get hit, you learn, oh, that's not the time to strike. So that's very important to get hit in Jigeko, okay? Remember the meaning of Jigeko is trained to make your foundation. Foundation includes all this knowledge. So when you get hit, you learn, oh, that wasn't the time to strike, okay? So make sure you correctly strike as you learned in the basic drill, and then you can try what you 
tried with lower grade holders. You can polish up your techniques in Jigeko with the similar grade holders. And then once you get the hang of the technique, you can try that against Sensei, maybe once or twice in Jigeko. That is actually how you should be trying techniques in Jigeko in a traditional way. While tradition forms the backbone of our practice, modern perspectives give us flexibility to adapt and grow. With that in mind, let's explore modern perspectives on Jigeko. Now the modern perspectives on Jigeko. Have you heard the term Gokaku Geiko? Now Gokaku means similar level or same level. So it's keiko between similar level or same level. So it allows us to fight more freely. But some people use this gokaku differently. Now if your sensei might say, okay, let's do gokaku geiko with me. That means, okay, you don't have to strike me as traditional way. You do whatever you want to do in a fight. That's Gokaku Geiko. So don't worry about hitting me all the time. Okay, let's do like Shiai like Keiko. So when your sensei says, okay, let's do Gokaku Geiko, that's most likely what it means. But always remember the interpretation of Gokaku Geiko or Jigeko is different from dojo to dojo. So you always follow your sensei or if you're a visitor of another dojo, you have to make sure what they mean by Jigeko and Gokaku Geiko. So understanding the meaning of traditional perspective and modern perspective of Jigeko helps you understand how you should be practicing in Jigeko. So it's not mere free sparring. Today, we've journeyed through the concept of Jigeko. Now, for convenience, I said traditional and modern Jigeko, but there is probably there is no such things, just the different understanding of Jigeko. Now, when I said traditional, as I said, it's 40 years ago. It's not that long ago. So please remember convenience point of view, I used traditional and modern. But it is very important for you to do Jigeko with purpose. So when you go against Sensei, as I said, whatever you do, it won't work. So you throw yourself at your Sensei. You go forward, be brave. Don't be afraid of getting hit. Don't block all the time. The most important thing in Kendo is to get hit and remove the fear of getting hit, of losing. Okay, so that's the most important thing. In Kendo, you have to get hit to improve. So please remember that. And when you do Jigeko with lower grade holders, don't just hit them all the time or don't let them hit you all the time. You have to practice your techniques. So this is a great time to practice your techniques on them and then polish them up with the similar grade holders or same grade holders. And then your techniques gets better and better. Jigeko with purpose is very important. So please try this type of Jigeko in your next training session. And remember, if you have any questions like Nicholas Usui dash crook 8325, don't hesitate to ask me. We're all here to learn and grow together. Before you go, if you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more Kindle insights. Until next time, keep practicing and stay motivated. See you in the next video.